Kathy here, and boy, do we have a huge package today. As usual, I have another package from Radha's Chinchillas. This is like my third package from her because her customer service is amazing, her shipping is really fast, and I love all of her variety of things. Okay, first thing I have is 8 ounces of apple molasses. This is $3.75 USD. I decided to order more because the chins love it. I like to take them and put them in the finger traps so like it gets stuck there and then the chins just have a blast for the whole night and it usually keeps them entertained for a couple hours. Alrighty, next thing I have are these pink rosebuds. I know they look purple but they're actually pink. The purple ones are a bit smaller. She also sells the red rosebuds and petals but they're bigger and I already had those I believe. I either had like the petals, the larger petals, or the pink or the red ones, and they were a bit uh, messier to feed to the gins because you had to pick them up and then sprinkle them or whatever, so I decided to get these rosebuds where I can just feed it to them, and plus it looks cuter and I get more picture opportunities. <laughs> okay, the next thing I got was pink globe flowers. This is what I was kind of excited about because I really wanted to let the chins try this. I know she sells the purple ones too. If I'm correct, I believe the purple ones are smaller too. The pink ones are a bit tougher, but it's okay. The chins probably will like it more because they get to chew on it. These were, for one ounce, is $2.70. I don't really think there's a price difference between what color you choose. Same thing for the rose petals. The next thing I got was these carnation flowers, and I really, really was waiting for these because they have calming properties, which is really great. I wanted to give them to Angelo because he's a bit more skittish, and he slips his fur a lot quicker than Angelo, and even if we're playing around, he gets um, frightened when I pet him. I'm not sure if it's because he's nervous or if he's stressed out, but um, I gave him some oat straws, and it helped a lot, and then I had read on Rhonda's site that carnations are great for calming properties so I decided to get these for him the this is one ounce and it was two dollars and fifty cents and another great thing that calms um, chinchillas down is lavender and oh my goodness these smell amazing I was smelling the package the entire way back to um, my place when I got them from the um, the postal place like it was just <laughs> up in my face smelling them they are so Oh, I can't even explain. But these should these will probably be a supplement since they're so small. But I mean this is huge. I think I got let's see, one ounce was a dollar ninety five. Since this is like um a lighter flower, like in weight, that's probably why I got so much. Alrighty, next thing I have is the jasmine flowers, which is one ounce for a dollar fifteen. I have way too many jasmine flowers, like I'm addicted to jasmine, but the reason why I get so much is because I actually use some for my tea, so the chins get them, I feed them by the like little petals, which is really nice, um, I, I still have like a, a full Ikea jar full, and then I have some extra, but I like to use them for the chinchilla cookies, so it it's never hurts to have extra jasmine and more tea for me. Wow, okay, next I have is... Um, uh, calendula petals. I forgot what these are actually, like, another name for them, but anyways, these, I still have more of the other ones, but they had too many, um, I usually get my herbs or flowers and stuff like that from a local herb shop, but, um, they had too many of the green buds in them, and I know some people don't mind that, but, um, I didn't really like it because for cookies and stuff, when I was making the chinchilla cookies, I'd have to sort them out. I mean, the chins love it, but, um, she... She sold one ounce and it was a bit more expensive and Rhonda sells them cheaper. So I decided to get from Rhonda plus the shipping is faster and it's to my door and I don't have to drive so far to get them. I like using, if you guys see like there's some um, like the powder, not really powder but like the broken pieces. I like to use those for the chinchilla cookies. And I like to make chinchilla salad. I probably should make a video about how to make a chinchilla, chinchilla salad for you guys. It's just coming up pretty soon. The next product I have is bee pollen granules. Um, I have never had bee pollen before, but when I read how good it was for um, chinchillas, I decided to get some. 
The she sells them in the powder form and the granular form, I believe. The Paul the um what's it called? The powder form is a bit more expensive, but I'm not sure. I don't think it's like I don't know that much more. It's probably like I don't know, three, four, five cents more. But I like getting these ones because I realized that if I wanted to try the powder, I can just crush it. Um, it's not really a big deal. These will probably um, be, like, if I take some a stick or something and I'll dip them into this so it coats the stick and then give the chins to chew on them. I see a lot of people doing that. But this was one ounce and it was 95 cents. Alrighty, and the next thing I have is more crushed and shifted um, or sifted rose hips. I have way too much of this, and I feel like this is the chinchilla go-to treat that every owner goes to because it has vitamin C, so it's great for them. I didn't, I still have like whole rose hips and like three or four ounces of the crushed ones, but I don't know. It was just so cheap. One ounce is only 95 cents, so I thought, why not? And the chins love it. I mean, I, I don't think they love it as much now because they realize they have so many other treats. But it's great to give to friends like who are just starting out with chinchillas and like don't know what to give them. So it's a great present for them as in their starter kit too. Last but definitely not least is this one ounce of papaya. It was for 65 cents. I probably should have ordered more because the chinchillas absolutely love this. I use this for their clicker training. I used to use goji berries first, but then um, I think I had a bit of a papaya treat. I forgot where I had it from, but it was like for maybe for the hamster, but it was like a tiny, tiny piece. So I decided to try it out and they did everything I asked for them. I actually managed to teach them how to spin with the papaya. So I was like, oh wow, that's great. And I decided to order an ounce. I can cut these pieces. These are actually pretty large pieces. So I don't know, I'll probably cut them in fourths and then continue training. And if you guys remember from my last video for of my chinchilla package, um, Rhonda forgot to put in my replacement apples, but um, I told her and she was really sweet about it. So she gave me the twigs and not only that, she threw in these adorable extras for me. This is um, a vine butterfly. It actually, like I'll be honest, it took me a while to figure out what it was. But um, it's a butterfly. I'm sure the chins will tear this up as soon as I put it in the cage. This is a really cool spider web too. I was like, wow, amazed by it. And then, yay, they, they really like this. She actually gave me coconut husk too, which I was like really like amazed because I wanted to try this. And then I'm probably going to make it into a toy, but I heard chins like to tear this up too. Alrighty, well thank you for watching the video everyone, and remember to go check out Rhonda's Chinchillas. Uh, oh, I also forgot to mention that everything in this video is bought by me with my own money. It's just, I love ordering from her because she has great stuff. I hope you all enjoyed the video. Please comment if you would like to see something like my video. Subscribe if you like the videos that I'm making. Other than that, thank you so much everyone. Bye!